Hello and welcome to PCHelpBlog.net. Today we're going to do an overview of AMD's overdrive. As you can see, over here we're doing a, stabil a st stability test. That will determine how far we can overclock our CPU. As you can see, it's still running and we're going to wait till it finishes. Over here you can see the um, CPU status of all six cores, uh, frequency, temperature, and so forth. Here's the GPU status, the board status, logging, what it's doing currently, clock and voltage, memory, Fan control. There's only a couple of fans, so you can also do <coughs> smart profiles, benchmarking, and stability tests is still running. And you have auto clock, which I like. Um, we're going to wait till we finish with this before we continue. Now that we did our stability test, we're going to do a auto clock. This will determine which is the best. And I'm going to overclock by a factor of 5. And we want to do a voltage boost as well. And we're going to hit apply and start. This is just a warning. Now they're not uh, responsible if you break your system. And we will stop at that for now. Okay, we successfully uh, overclocked the uh, system. And as you can see, it is overclocked at 4.2 gigahertz. Um, CPU multiplier is 19.00. And you can see it right here on this side. So I want to be able to save. First, I got to reboot and we will be back. Okay, we're back. And so now, as you can see, we have an overclock to 4.2, 46.5 megahertz or 4.2 gigahertz. Um, the CPU multiplier is 19 by. And you can also make smart profiles in here and keep your. Um, settings also it just gives you basic information about your CPU the memory and the cache um, gives you more detail if you click on here where who made the CPU the speed voltage all that kind of information geek kind of information also you get a diagram of how it works and basically I'm happy at 4.2 or 4.2 gigahertz and it does have a uh, boost power of 4.10 but I like it overclocked a little bit if I had more video cards it would show here I only have one so and this tells you the core temperature is 46 Celsius so it's about 105 degrees so it shows you the current <coughs> excuse me the current uh, Celsius and you can just Google it you can get a um, uh, temperature conversion and convert 46 Celsius into Fahrenheit it's about 100 degrees 105 um, everything is working nothing's uh, slowing down also it logs all this information so you can look at it later if you start it um, the voltage is a, is a little bit high um, I'm not an overclocker myself so I just did it for this video to show you can do it you can change a lot of settings um, also the fan speed fan control benchmarking 
uh, stability test and auto clock and I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for pchelpblog.net